Parsec's great for gaming. I'm on my laptop playing Destiny on Mac settings, streamed from my gaming computer. Because Parsec is great for gaming, that makes it perfect for just about anything, including getting my work done. I'm an artist at a super cool top secret studio, and let me show you how I use Parsec for Teams to let me take my workflow anywhere. Let's head to the office and get Parsec up and running for an artist and animator workflow. So I have a high powered art workstation here at the office. I'm currently working on a render of this complex 3D scene. With Parsec for Teams, I can access my workstation, work on my render, and make art from anywhere. With features like 444 color mode, dual monitor streaming, and full Wacom tablet support, we can tweak, iterate, and start our next masterpiece from anywhere with confidence. Parsec lets us access the power of our workstation from any PC, Mac, Android device, or even a browser. Let's get Parsec set up and continue my work on my render at home. First, let's go on our host workstation and download and install Parsec from parsecgaming.com. Installing Parsec. It's done. Let's open up Parsec and log into my Parsec account. You can create an account if you don't have one. Logged in. It's alive. Now that Parsec is up and operational, our host is now set up. You can change host settings by clicking settings in the sidebar and then clicking on host. So let's change the host name here to something more descriptive. Perfect, we're all done here. Time to head home. I'm back at home now with my laptop. I wanna continue working on my render and tweak some materials. So now that we've set up our workstation host at the office, we'll be able to connect to our workstation from my laptop and continue working where I left off. Let's open Parsec and log in. There's our workstation we set up earlier. Let's click connect to start it up. We're connected. My desktop is exactly how I left it. Let's change out this material for a metallic one. Since color is important here, let's enable 444 color. So open the Parsec overlay by clicking the Parsec icon in the upper left corner. You can see the current resolution and color mode in the Parsec overlay. Let's turn on 444 color by enabling Prefer 444 color. With 444 color, this stream will now show me the image as it really appears with fewer artifacts. Without 444 color, some high contrast areas wouldn't show up accurately. 444 color shows me the colors as they really appear, so I can work with confidence. Hmm, the mood of this isn't quite right. Let's tweak this a little bit and make it a tiny bit warmer. Ah, beautiful. Let's start a quick re-render and take a little game break. While that render is going, we can easily switch over to a different host and pop into a game. Ah, how relaxing. We should check on the render. Let's just switch back to our workstation host. How's the render doing? It's done. That was super fast. Our remote workstation does have two monster GPUs. Okay, let's email this render to my art director. My email is open on my second monitor, which I can switch to by opening the Parsec overlay and clicking Switch Display. Ah, looks like we just got some feedback about a landscape painting I'm working on. Looks like I need to add a few more birds from this reference and do the final sign-off. Let's download this attached PSD and open it in Photoshop. We can use Second Screen, which allows us to stream both monitors so we can keep an eye on our reference while painting. Parsec for Teams has complete Wacom support, so my Intuos tablet just works with full pressure and tilt support. I'll draw a few happy little birds here and add a final touch, some beautiful brushwork with the help of my tilt pen. And to top it off, I'll add my signature. I'm sort of a big deal. With Parsec for Teams, I'm able to use the high-powered art workstation from anywhere. Parsec streams my multiple monitor setup with full 444 color at 60 FPS Ultra HD, so I can make my art just like if I were at my computer. If you'd like to learn more and try out Parsec for Teams, follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.